In today's video, we're diving in on how to start your own dropshipping business using WordPress. We'll cover everything you need to know and walk you through the step-by-step -step process. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you want to consider before even starting to build your store is choosing a niche. Choosing a niche for your dropshipping store is crucial to making sure that you pick the right products and that you're targeting the right set of people. A niche is basically just any specific segment of a market that you want to target. This will heavily influence the type of products that you're selling, so make sure you choose correctly. One of the best ways to choose your niche is to look at what's currently working already in the market place. Look at other people's drop shipping stores and see what they're selling. This can typically give you a super solid idea of what type of products are currently working and what aren't. Once you've taken a good look at the market and figured out your target audience and who you're trying to sell to, you can then get started with building your store. Now, in order to follow along with me, the best possible way to do so is by clicking the link down in the description for Hostinger. This is how we're going to use WordPress to build our e-commerce store, and it's the best way to actually get started with it in the first place. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the link down in the description, which should take you to this page here. As you can see, Hostinger is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to to get started with building websites, more specifically utilizing WordPress integrations. As you can see, we're gonna get up to 75% off hosting plus their website builder, a free domain, free website migration, and 24 seven customer support. We'll get access to all this for only $2.99 a month, plus three extra free months on top of that. All I have to do now is hit the start now button, which will then take me to the pricing page. On the pricing page, we can either choose from the premium section, the business section, or the cloud startup section. We'll go ahead and go with the business plan because we want the e-commerce functionality. Once we hit the choose plan button, that will then take us to the checkout page where we can choose our payment period, which is basically how often we want to pay them. We'll then create a quick account with an email address and a password, select our payment method, enter in our first name, last name, phone number, country of origin, and then the most important part here to get the best deal possible is enter in this coupon code. The coupon code you'll want to enter is the My First Website coupon code, all capitals, no spaces, and then hit the apply button. Once you apply that coupon code, you'll save even more money on top of the plan that you're choosing. Once you enter in your card details, you can then hit submit secure payment, and you'll be ready to get started with WordPress and with Hostinger. Once you guys are inside of Hostinger, this is what it should look like. This is your websites tab. This is how you're going to get started with creating your WordPress website and more specifically start selling products on it. The first thing I want to do is head over here to this purple button here that says add website and click the add website button. Once we click the add website button, we'll then have the options between WordPress website, hosting your website builder, or an empty HTML website. Obviously for this video, we're going to go with the WordPress option. Once we click the WordPress option, it will then take a few moments and then we can start creating our account. As you can see, once we have all this filled out, we'll then hit the X button. It'll then ask us what type of website we want to build. We'll say we want to build an online store and then hit the next button. Now we can choose from either a pre-built website or a theme. We'll go ahead and choose from a pre-built website because these actually look pretty good. Any of these will do. We'll go ahead and go with this theme right here. Once we select that theme, we can then import a few important things to actually start selling products in the first place. The major thing we want to consider is adding things like WooCommerce and even email marketing for WooCommerce and a couple of these other things for SEO optimization. One of the other crucial things that I would definitely recommend adding to your WordPress website is Zendrop. This is going to be one of the easiest ways to start importing products directly into this website and Zendrop has the most amount of features out of any of them. All we have to do is go in the plugin search here and type in Zendrop and then Zendrop will pop up right here and we can click the checkbox. Now real quick here before you actually add Zendrop to your website make sure to make an account with Zendrop by using the link down in the description. Once you click that link you'll be taken to this page here and as you can see there's a ton of awesome benefits that you get when you use our link. You'll get a free trial, 50% off your first month plus $200 in order credits plus automatic fulfillment for hands-free deliveries and even live week coaching calls in expert help. All you have to do is enter in your email address, the name on your card, and then hit the sign up L button. Once we've done all that, we can then head to the next step of building our website. Once we're back on this page right here, we'll then hit the next button. And then on this page, it'll ask us what domain or subdomain we would like to use. We can use any domain, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use a temporary domain. This, of course, will auto generate a domain for me, and I won't have to do the work there. Once we filled out all that information, it will then take us to the loading page. The loading page will take a few seconds to load up our WordPress website and get started creating it with our pre made template. In the meantime, you're getting that set up, head on back over to Zendrop and go ahead and get started with importing your products. Zendrop is super easy to find products that you want to start selling. The first thing we can do is head over to the left here where it says find products. On the find products page, we can find a bunch of different products that are currently selling right now. This means you don't have to worry about looking around or trying to figure out what you need to sell. Zendrop takes care of this for you. Once we've found a product that we think looks good, we can then simply click the green button that says add to my products, which will then add it to our products. Once we figured out what products we want to choose, we can then head over to the my products screen. On the my products screen, we can see that there's a couple of products that we already have ready to go and import in. We go ahead, review and publish this, and then it will officially be added into our products list, which can then be instantly imported over to our WordPress website. Now that we've done all that, let's check back on our loading WordPress website and see what we can do. Now that we've headed back here, as you can see, we're inside of our admin panel. Everything is fully created and loaded up and ready to go. Now, the next thing we can do, we can do a couple of different things here. We can either head over to the admin panel and start making changes on the settings of the website. We can change the overall theme by heading over to the theme editor, or we can just do some of the backend data if we were interested in that. Now, because I want to start editing this, I'm going to go ahead and head over to the admin. 
admin panel. As you can see, we're officially inside of WordPress's admin panel. This is what it should look like on your page, and it's going to immediately start prompting us to set our account up, whether that's connecting our Stripe account, connecting our store to OmniSend, or a couple of other features. The first thing we want to do is start importing our products. Let's do that first. We'll head down here to the bottom left where it says products. Once we click the products, it will then take us to our product page. All we have to do now is go up to the top here where it says import. We then click the import button, which will then take us to the import products page. There's a couple of different things we can do here. We can either upload a CSV file, or we can use that plugin that we had earlier with Zendrop and just import our products directly here. Now, in order to see that plugin for Zendrop, we're simply going to go down to the plugins tab, click on that, and then head over to Zendrop. As you can see down here, import products from Zendrop to your WooCommerce store and automate fulfillment. We then can view the details. And as you can see, it looks like this plugin has not been tested yet with the current version of WordPress. And then pretty much you can import your products on the products page and it's pretty easy to do. The next thing I want to show you guys how to do is to start editing your store's theme. To do this, we're going to head back to the dashboard and then head on down to the left here and go to the appearance tab. Once we're on the appearance tab, we can then either start editing our theme or even add a completely new theme. Now, if we want to get even more granular about this, we can actually head over to the pages tab. And then on the pages tab, we can start editing these things here. Our about us page, our cart page, the checkout page, and a host of other pages. Let's go ahead and edit the actual about us page just to show you guys an example. Once we hit the edit button on the about us page, it will then take us to their page editor. As you can see, this editor is pretty easy to use. The first thing we can do if we want to edit any of this is simply tap into this and start typing whatever we'd like it to say. We can say bike stores are cool, something like that. We can then edit the alignment of this text and even edit the heading. We can then scroll down here if we want to edit anything else on this page and do so by either clicking into it or using this right kind of tab here where we can edit things like general editing, their advanced editing, and the style editing. As you can see for the style editing, this is how we would change the image. If we want to change this image to anything else, we just simply hit the change image button and same goes for the position. If we want to go to the general setting, we can change the overall width of this image or even change the height. We can also change things like the overflow and even change the layout altogether. And I would show you more about this, but honestly, guys, it's pretty easy to do. Most of their store editor is drag and drop and it's fully functional, meaning that you don't really have to worry too much about having any prior experience with building websites. WordPress might seem a little bit overcomplicated, but I promise you once you get inside of it, it's pretty easy to use. Once we have all this set, we can then obviously go to the top here and hit the save button. This will save any of the changes that we made to our website, making sure that we don't lose progress. We can even view the page too, if we want to see the final version of this and what this will look like to a visitor. And then once everything is fully ready to go, we can then hit the publish button. And that's pretty much it guys. Once again, building a dropshipping store, utilizing WordPress as the main tool that you're using is never been easier. And it's one of the best ways that I personally like getting started with my personal dropshipping stores. And of course, utilizing Zendrop to import my products has never been easier too. If you guys are curious in getting started with WordPress, make sure you use the link down in the description below and get started with Hostinger. Also, if you guys want to get started with Zendrop, importing your products has never been easier. Plus, finding trending products to sell in the first place is also one of their best things that they do. And if you guys want to get started with that, make sure you use the link down in the description as well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below what your overall thoughts are on dropshipping and if you're planning on starting your own dropshipping store. I always love to know what you guys are up to and what you guys are doing. Other than that, though, I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.